we ignored what everybody told us. Everybody told us all our algae would die. Everybody told us we could never grow it in commercial quantities. We were told routinely you'd never get it out of solution. We were told routinely you'd never get enough light to it in a large tank. Everything we did we were told is impossible by experts. But I think by ignoring everyone we actually ended up where we needed to be. I have ideas and I think that's a problem. I'm sort of tortured with lots of them. I was reading an article in the Washington Post that said that you could make oil from algae. It occurred to me that it isn't too hard to make algae since I have a swimming pool and uh, getting algae to die is the problem, not getting it to live. I actually own this building and there's uh, an area at the front there that occurred to me I could grow algae in this area. Max Kolesnik has been my partner for about 10 years working on various innovation projects and Max manages to impart enormous confidence in those around him. On a Saturday it occurred to me I phoned Max on a Sunday and said Max why don't we do this and Max agreed and said yeah let's do it. So we came here and we uh, our first algae was grown we stopped on the way we wanted to make sure that we had aseptic conditions so we stopped at Shoppers Drug Martin but four liters of distilled water and some rubbing alcohol and uh, we used a coffee cup and a beaker and all the algae has been grown from the coffee cup that we started in. That's how we got from the idea to beginning. The, the next big step is you have the idea and you're going to grow a couple of tubs of algae. What happens next? Making a dozen muffins in my oven to supplying second cup with muffins is a huge step. I now need to find whole systems to, to not just bake 12 at a time, but to break 12 million at a time. Package them, ship them. All of those problems, they seem like they're fairly straightforward. They're not. Our focus is industrial from the outset. We didn't design any equipment based on laboratory models. We spoke with manufacturers and said, can you make us a small analog of your huge piece of equipment, rather than finding a small piece of equipment and trying to find a manufacturer to make it big. And I think the primary difference between us and other people in the field is that we treated each one as an industrial challenge, not as a simple technical challenge. We didn't solve it in the laboratory, we solved it in huge tanks. We always look for how is this going to fit in making the million muffins a day. You need massive amounts of carbon dioxide to grow the algae. All of the carbon in the, in the algae comes from carbon dioxide. So you need a really big source of that. So, I mean, we had a couple of options. We could go try to burn a forest and use that carbon dioxide to grow algae. It didn't seem like a really good idea because we need to buy forests. So it, it became sort of obvious that this had to fit with, with industry in some way. The next step is where do you find a partner who's willing to work with you in this? And that was where Terry took over. We ended up picking cement as the vertical cement manufacturing. And then we were fortunate enough to make an arrangement with St. Mary's Cement. They'd also been looking for us for some time. They didn't know our name, but they were looking for this type of a solution. And we were very fortunate from that point of view that their environmental group was intelligent, up to speed, and on top of what was going on. You can pick up a paper any day of the week at that time, or frankly any day now, and the issues about greenhouse gas are there. You've got this enormous conflict between essential industries that we need and the need for, oh that's right, breathing would be another need we have. And the thing that I just absolutely love about what we do is it resolves that conflict. One of the challenges in doing this is that being the sort of technical lead along with, with Max, all questions end up at your doorstep. It doesn't matter what the question is, you have to have the answer to it. And the question could be as simple as the website's not working to uh, all the algae died. What are the next steps for us? I don't know that I can think that far ahead. I, I tend to think in, in smaller pieces around the problems that are coming up on a sort of daily basis. Thinking about what's going to happen next week to me is a little bit, uh, a little bit more difficult. I actually tend to leave that to Terry and he tells me what I'm thinking for next week and I feel very good about that. Success in, in our field and success for this company is basically success for all of us. And that's what we're all about, taking greenhouse gas and turning it into biomass that you can make biodiesel from to run vehicles on, biomass that you can feed to livestock. So unquestionably, it's, it's certainly the most exciting thing I've ever worked on because not only is it a hell of a business opportunity, it's actually doing something really nice as well. <laughs>